Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to learn more Japanese today? Well, we have been doing a lot of things. We have learned time expressions, time in our last class. Well, this time also we will do some time expressions, something new, also about verbs and lot of new vocabulary, some new expressions as well. Now, we are going to do additional hiragana, the short sound ma or the syllable or the letter m with ya, u and yo. Okay? So, this is mya, mu and mu the R letter or sound R as Rya, Ryu, Ryo. Then we have letter G or the sound G, Gya, Gyu, Gyo. Then we have letter J or sound J, Jya, Ju, Jo. Then letter B and sound B as Bia, Biu, Bio. And the last one for you is the letter P and sound P as Pia, Piu and Pio. So, this is your additional hiragana which you require for words later on. Well, now you are comfortable with numbers, you have done numbers from 1 till 10, you can tell time. So, now you can also tell someone or ask someone their phone number or tell your phone number. How would you do that? Well, you need numbers from 1 till 10 that you already know because of time, you have done time from 1 till 12. So, ichi. Ni san yon, not she. Go roku nana hachi q, and that's all that is required. And of course, zero, which is re, or zero could also be used. So now, if you want to tell your number, watashi no. No, then wa bango wa, then wa bango is telephone number or ketai, ketai is your mobile, ketai bango wa, then wa bango wa ni san go no, this dash over here is no, ni san go no, ichi san nana hachi. Q re this. Okay. Or watashi no ketai wa Q ketai wa Q hachi nana go ni ichi re re ni ichi this. So very very simple way you have to say each number and not 1200 or 1002 or 521, no, all numbers are to be said separately. So, please, watashi no denwa bango wa ni san go no, if there is a dash for the country code or for the area code, ni san go no, ichi san nana hachi q 0 ichi desu. Is that all right? 
So, you could tell your number very easily to your friends now. Well, now today we are going to do something new. We will talk about verbs now. Lot of things we can do, lot of expressions. We can, we can say a lot of things if we use verbs. So, well, we are going to do verbs today. Now, listen to this radio conversation and just see how much you understand and whatever is new, we will try to explain here in class. すみませんです。事務室です。事務室は何階ですか ?3階です。食堂も3階ですね。いいえ、食堂は2階です。あの、すみませんですが、エレベーターはどこですかエレベーターはあそこです。です。あの、すみませんですが、エレベーターはどこ
Now, you have these two people over here A san and B san again and let us see what they are doing. Well, B is pointing at something and so is A. So, well what could it be? Well, it is coco that means over here as they are very close by close to each other. So, coco or this place or this point could be close to both of them then it would be coco over here and B is also pointing with his finger somewhere. So, what could that be? Asoko because it is far away from A and B as well. So, it is far away somewhere not here or here thus it is asoko. And what is that? Well, again he is pointing at something which is far away from both of them. So, again it becomes asoko. Now, A san has a question he says kuruma wa doko desu ka? Kuruma wa doko desu ka? And B has to say kuruma wa asoko desu over there because the kuruma is far away from A and B both. Now, A san has another question he says Tanaka san wa doko desu ka? Now, over here it was an object now he is asking about a person. So, well B says Tanaka san wa asoko desu. So, now you can see that koko because it is for place it can be used for object as well as for person. And then also another thing over here you will notice that wa is a little colored. Now, why wa is colored over here is because one question has already been asked by A san kuruma wa doko desu ka? So, the answer is kuruma wa asoko desu. And again he asks another question and says Tanaka san wa doko desu ka? And B san again says Tanaka san wa asoko desu. So, as we have done earlier you can replace this wa with mo meaning also kuruma wa asoko desu the car is over there and Tanaka san is also over there. So, please you can see wa you can replace with mo. If something has already been said which is similar to the answer given here. So, now I am sure your asoko, koko and soko is clear and of course, he can also point at this and say koko and a san from here can say soko. So, I am sure this is clear now the difference between koko, soko and asoko. Well, now listen to this dialogue and see the words you can catch actually. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Kyoto e ikimasu. Nande kyoto e ikimasu ka? Shinkansen de ikimasu. Nanji no densha desu ka? Asa hachiji no densha desu. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? So, now you have done this location word doko which means where. Now, there are two new things over here. A and ikimas. A is a new particle for you. A we will do right away, and ikimas is the verb. You've done lot of particles. You've done particle ka. You've done particle wa. Particle ne. Particle mo. Now a new particle for you. Particle a, and the verb ikimas. This means to go, to move in a certain direction. Now, particle A is used with motion verbs, basically is used with motion verbs and shows movement in a certain direction, movement towards destination or towards your goal, particle A. It is to be used with motion verbs. Now, three motion verbs which we are going to do here is ikimas kimas and kaeri mas now ikimas means to go ikimas means go kimas means come and kaeri mas means to return now very interestingly kaeri mas in Japanese you only return to your 
house, your hometown or your country to your country, your hometown and your house only. All other places you always go, please remember that. And when you are at a certain place, when you are here and you are talking about this place, then it means you come here. For example, if you are in class, then you say watashi wa mainichi, watashi wa rokuji ni kimasu, because I am in class, I am talking about class. And if you are outside class, well you could say watashi wa rokuji ni class e ikimasu. Please remember that. We will be doing it again and again, so you do not have to worry that much. Well, ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Doko is where? Ashita is tomorrow. E is, as I told you, it is a particle to be used with ikimasu, which shows motion in a certain direction, movement in a certain direction. And ka, of course, is the question word. So, now you can see ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Where are you going tomorrow? Kyoto e ikimasu. Kyoto, of course, is one of the cities in Japan. The old capital of Japan is Kyoto. Kyoto e ikimasu. I am going to Kyoto. Now, another new particle over here, which is de. Particle de. Particle de for you. Now, de shows something. De ikimas, meaning mode of transport, how you will go from this place to that place, how movement is going to take place, how you will transport yourself from this place to that place. So, well, it could be bus de ikimas, I will go by bus. Ashita Bus de iki mas. Ashita bus de iki mas. So I will go by bus tomorrow. By by bus I go. I will go by bus tomorrow. So how will you go? Nan de iki mas ka? Nan is a question. So you can ask how will you go? Nan de Kyoto e iki mas ka? Shinkansen de iki mas. Shinkansen is the fast train, the bullet trains, very famous trains of Japan. So, Shinkansen de ikimasu. Nanji no densha desu ka? Asa hachiji no densha desu. Asa is in the morning, morning hachiji no densha desu. So, this is the conversation. This is of course in the script and the kanji characters are given. There are a number of characters which you have not done. But these characters have been put here specially for you to get used to the kanji script, the pictograms. Then of course, this is the explanation. Well, we will practice now. Now, I want to tell you something about verbs. In Japanese, verbs are divided into two categories, basically two categories, the u verbs and the ru verbs, the u verbs and the ru verbs. Now, there is a base form of the verb, the stem of the verb, the dictionary form of the verb and if the verb ends in u or in ru, it is in its dictionary form. Please remember that. So, with this division, they have classified verbs into group 1, group 2 and group 3. Of course, how will you differentiate that it is in group 1 or in group 2 or in group 3? It is simple. In group 2, all verbs ending in I R U and E R U in their base form, in their dictionary form, then they are in group 2. So, all verbs ending in I R U, E R U are in group 2 in their dictionary form. There are two verbs which are irregular verbs, they do not follow a pattern which is kuru and 
suru. Of course, all the details we will do later. This is just a small brief introduction to verbs. We have just two verbs in group 3, kuru and suru. Suru means to do and kuru means to come as we did with ikimas, kimas and kairimas. Now, all other verbs which are not ending in iru and eru in their dictionary form are in group in this group in group 1. There are a few exceptions of course, we have a few verbs which do end in iru and eru in group 1, but that is for a different reason. All verbs ending in iru, eru are in group 2 and all other verbs are in group 1 and only 2 in group 3. So, well this was very, very brief, there are a lot of things about verbs, but well for the time being we will only do this much. Now, particle A as I just told you indicates direction, place plus particle A indicates direction towards destination. Thus, it is used with motion verbs ikimas, kimas and kairimas and means to go, come and return respectively. Well, we will practice now. Ashita doko e ikimas ka. Ashita doko e ikimas ka. So, you remember you did time expressions in your previous lesson. Asatte suiyobi nichiyobi nichiyobi. So, you could replace ashita with any of these ashita, asatte, suiyobi, nichiyobi, kyo any of these doko e ikimasu ka doko means where, a is of course movement in that direction and ikimas means to go. And of course, you could answer with, with watashi wa wa and the name of the place e ikimasu, e ikimasu. So, it is very simple, it could be Delhi, it could be Kyoto, it could be club or kurab as is used in Japanese, it could be um, shokudo, it could be kras, anything e ikimas. So, place e ikimas. that is what we are going to practice over here. You can see ashita doko e ikimasu ka, deri e ikimasu. So, ashita could be replaced with Nichiyobi asatte raigetsu, raigetsu means next month and place could be Delhi, place could be replaced with uchi, depato, tomodachi no uchi or again any place Delhi or any other place you want to name. Now, some more time expressions for you, raigetsu was just mentioned. Raigetsu. Raigetsu means next month. Kongetsu. This month. Saraigetsu. Next to next month. So, please you can practice Raigetsu doko e ikimasu ka? Raigetsu watashi wa uchi e kairimasu. Kongetsu doko e ikimasu ka? Kongetsu tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. Saraigetsu doko e ikimasu ka? Saraigetsu kuni e kairimasu. Kuni is country, so I will return to my country. Now, you have this new particle de which we just practiced de. Particle de as I said 
is used for travel. So, watashi wa watashi wa kuruma de kaisha e iki mas. Watashi wa kuruma de kaisha e iki mas. This can again be replaced with Tanaka san, Tomodachi, Oka san, or any 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 other uh, noun that you have done, and Kurma could be easily replaced with Bus, Densha. Takushi, Jitensha, any of these you can replace and you can make so many sentences, you can ask your friends, you can tell how you are going to a certain place by just using this particle they. So, with the help of kurma, I, I go to my office, that is how it is done. Watashi wa kurma de kaisha e. Ikimas. Tanaka san wa bus de kaisha e ikimas. Tomodachi wa densha de gakko e ikimas. Of course, this also could be replaced with any place that you want to go to. Now, you can see over here that is exactly what is given. Nan de kaisha e ikimas ka? Takushi de ikimas. I go by taxi. So, basic meaning of de is by with the help of. Kuruma de ikimas, bus de ikimas, densha de ikimas. And of course, there is one word over here, arukimas. Arukimas means to walk. Jitensha de ikimas, shinkansen de ikimas. So, this is this you have to keep in mind that please you do not say I go to a certain place by my feet, it is always I walk. Please remember that it is not I use my feet to go somewhere, I always walk. Watashi wa aruki mas. Now, there is a small audio for you, so please listen and see how much you understand. いつデリへ行きますか来週の15日です。何日に帰りますか ?18日に帰ります。Now in this audio you had something new over here which was date please learn dates date is a little different Suitachi. Tsui. Tsui tachi. Tsui tachi is first of the month. Futsuka. Futsuka. Second of the month. Mikka. Third of the month. And so on. We go till ten. So, please repeat after me once and then we will do it over here. Suitachi, Futsuka, Mikka, Yokka, Itsuka, Yokka, Itsuka, Muika, Nanoka, Yoka. So, you will notice this yokka and yoka are quite similar, but there is a slight difference. Yoka, yoka is 4, which is a small number, so the sound is also small, and yoka, a larger number, which is 8, sound is also long and elongated. 
そう1日2日3日4日5日6日7日8日9日ごめん、here. 10日10日は again is a long sound then after 10日 you have 10 which you know is for 10 10日日。Now, 日 is the counter for day, date. 11日 means 11th. 12日 means 12th. So, please practice this. We will do it right away. 1日2日。3日4日5日6日7日8日9日10日11日12日13日14日15日。So well, over here. This is a small sound, this is a long sound, this is an elongated long sound, and again you have 14th. 14th has ju yoka and not ju yon nichi, and the 20th is hatsuka and not niju nichi. These are exceptions, so please. Remember these. Please remember these and practice as many times as you can so that it settles inside very nicely. Now, we have kanjis, we have been doing kanjis in our previous lessons. We did um, last time get C O B, I think, Kai O B. And uh, what else we did? I think suyobi. So today we will do mokuyobi, kinyobi, doyobi, and nichiyobi. So let's begin doing our kanjis over here and how the kanjis have come into being. Now, mokuyobi, the basic meaning is tree or wood. Now, you would say, how, how has this form or these lines come into being? Well, Kanjis, as you know, are pictograms. So, when you look at tree, what is the figure that comes to your mind? What do you think? Well, a key looks like this, a tree looks like this, is not it? Like this, like this, like this, some branches over here. So, well, the basic idea is there is a form, and this is the trunk of the tree, and that is how it has come into being. So, now you see 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, if you, if you do this, then you will see it looks does look like a tree. So, once again for you 1, 2, 3 and 4. Ki. This is ki. The pronunciation is ki. Ki means a tree. It is a four stroke character. Once again, 1, 2, 3 and 4 meaning key. When you look at this character, then automatically you will understand that it has something to do with tree, something to do with wood, something to do with forest, all related. Now, you will see this is a four stroke character. Now, we have another character over here which means Okane, some lines are drawn 
and it means money and metal. Now, how has this come into being? Well, this is very interesting because in olden times is when we did not have banks, then all our money was kept in the houses, in the houses and they would dug, dig somewhere and put the money inside over here and use it whenever it was required. So, now what happens is when you, when you have lot of people in the house and everybody is hiding it, how do you, how do you sort of camouflage the whole thing? So, for that in the house you would put lot of mud over it and maybe plant a tree or something or put, put a pot or something over there, which would sort of hide your money and you would also know that the money is kept over here. So, well now this is for the house, this is how it is made actually. Okay. So, now you will see these are the two nuggets or the gold coins that were used earlier and on this you plant something to just camouflage the whole thing. So, this is how the character is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is the ground. So, you put your money hidden over here. That is how this character is used for money. Let us see how many strokes are there in this character. Kanjis are very interesting actually, some of them, not all of them as they get complicated. Well, things become a little difficult, but this one is okane, it is an 8 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the associated meaning is kin, kin is for gold, otherwise the meaning is metal or money, because money was also metal earlier. So, when we did not have the notes, so well it is for money and metal both. Now, we have another character over here which means soil or suchi. This is the ground from here a flower is something comes out of the ground. So, that is how you have this character and this for ground which is suchi. That is how this character has come into being and it is used for Saturday which is doyobi. Okay, so, well this is a this is a three stroke character 1, 2 and 3 meaning soil or ground. So, well a three stroke character. Now, there is more kanji for you today, there is lot of kanji. These kanjis are very simple, they are not difficult. These are the two kanji characters for the two verbs that we have done. Verb iku, 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 iku means to go. Is it all right? A simple simple character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the hiragana ku over here meaning to go. You can see over here, this also means line, it is a 6 stroke character. Now, the other one is kairu, kairu and kairu is a 10 stroke character. So, you can see kairu means to return, I will draw it for you, I will make it for you kairu. Kairu. So, 1 go mena side. So, that is a 10 stroke character which means to return and please remember you always return to your country 
to your hometown or to your house. So, now we have some new words for you with these kanji characters. Kikori and the meanings are given over here. Kanemochi, Doboku, Dono, Ikisaki, Gyoretsu, Kikoku, Kitaku, Higairi, so these are some of the new words for you, new vocabulary for you using these kanji characters, using these pictograms that we have just studied try to memorize them, try to read them, try to learn them, write them. Now, we have some words, senshu, konshu, raishu, saraishu, Asa, Ban, Yasumi, Kimas, Arukimas. And now it is time for you to do your assignments to take down your assignments and do them at home. Practice telling time over here like this. You can ask Imananji Deska and you can answer or your partner can answer or you can also say Ima whatever time is there. So, Ima this time. Now, these pictures we have done here in class, the days of the week are given over here. So, you have to just match the kanji characters with the pictures then write the readings for the following characters like your previous exercise in the previous lesson. And of course, over here you have to match the readings with the kanji characters. We have done quite a few things, lot of new things we have learnt, lot of uh, new vocabulary we have done and uh, some new particles, some new verbs we have learnt. So, please with that, I think I should leave you. There is a lot of homework for you today. I think I will finish over here for today and maybe we will do something new in our next lesson. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.